so first thing we have to do is we have to go to the sketch fab uh, then we have to search skybox and uh, there is some free skyboxes so let's say in this one I, I will pick this one skybox uh, then click download free model and download uh, FBX so once we are downloaded it uh, for my computer I have 7 zips so I have to open this file uh, click on textures uh, click on this picture and we have to download our picture so what we have to do for our next step is we have to download uh, NVIDIA Texture Tools Exporter uh, I think you have to make account for possibility to download the app so once you made an account and downloaded this app now what we have to do is just find our picture that we downloaded it before just drag it right here then click save as uh, select HDR and name it however you want so the next step is make sure to grab your HDR drag it, it into UFN uh, and what I like to do is just double click on it and make sure uh, MIP gen settings is no MIP maps so after we will do our skybox uh, it will look uh, very good quality like high quality skybox and just save it if you guys want to support me you can use my creator code danikas15 in fortnite item shop and big thanks to everybody who is supporting me and using my code and now let's get back to the video so what we have to do now is click uh, this button and uh, modeling sphere mm, I don't know maybe right here and make sure radius is 15,000 then accept uh, then back to the selection and then right click uh, material this one and I don't know I will name it just skybox mm, one then double click on this one uh, make sure to change to two-sided then unlit uh, is sky then click on the content drawer uh, get our texture cube place it right here uh, just copy my settings and don't worry just uh, right click and type reflection uh, this one the reflection vector vs connect it to UFS then hold 3 and just do it like that and then apply and save it uh, now we are in the details of our sphere so just grab our material and drag it right here um, and don't forget maybe move it like this uh, and now uh, make sure to change the setting uh, actor hidden in game to yes and collision presets to to no collision now save it now again uh, right click cinematics level sequence uh, name it I'll name it again skybox uh, double click on it add and make sure to select ac actor to sequencer and select your sphere uh, now click this one actor hidden in game and visibility turn it on now just save it so what we have to do now is uh, go to the fortnite uh, search for cinematic device um, make sure to change setting uh, loop playback is on and now we have to grab our skybox level sequence that we made and drag it like uh, right there then let's take our trigger um, make sure to visible in game is let's say um, I don't know like for the video okay let's turn this off then uh, triggered by damage on triggered by player no uh, no 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 uh, triggered SVX and VFX is also off receive damage when invisible on so what we have to do now is just take the picture that we made uh, in the first step drag it 
uh, if you have this error just right, cl right click on it confirm texture and if it still doesn't change then what you can do is texture source reduce size just press ok and again confirm texture and you're good so what we have to do now is uh, just click on the trigger go to the mesh static mesh search for the sphere and choose this one not this one because this is our skybox and this is just sphere uh, and now uh, find your picture and try to drag it on the uh, sphere and nothing will happen but we will make a material automatically so grab this material and make it like this and I think visible in game turn this off uh, so now go back to the cinematic sequence device uh, make sure to play function uh, trigger uh, on trigger because uh, yes this is trigger one just like basic trigger first trigger and for example if you have multiple skyboxes let me just quickly let's say this is another skybox so we have another sequence device connected to it and this is trigger 2 so we go back to this one and uh, stop function trigger 2 and on trigger and make uh, like here to trigger 2 is uh, play and stop is our first trigger on trigger uh, so this connected to this one and this connected to this one so now I will just delete it because I show it for the example and now let's save everything and push changes and look how it looks in the game so now let's see how it works uh, when we shoot the trigger here is our cool skybox and thank you guys for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i see you in the next tutorial goodbye